guys, so today's advice video is going to be all about braces and what to expect and just how to take care of your teeth. If you guys are wondering, I actually had braces for only one year. Um, sixth grade, it was like August to August, whatever the year that was. I don't think I have any before pictures of my teeth, otherwise I would like show you guys, but my teeth are pretty sturdy, you know? They're, they're nice. Braces are worth it. Disclaimer. Not every orthodontist is the same, so your experience might be totally different than what mine was, but I'll try to give you a pretty general view of what to expect. Sometime before you get braces, they will take a mold of your teeth, and that's basically like this metal little tray thingy with hot wax, and it's not that hot, but it's like warm, and they just like press it on your teeth. Kind of uncomfortable, it doesn't hurt at all, but it's just uncomfortable. And then for me, they had to put little spacers in between my back teeth, I don't know why, but I had like this sort of like a pre-retainer. You might not have to go through any of that. That could have been just me and my teeth. Yeah, so I went through all that, and then the day they put your braces on, it's not that big of a deal, really. It kind of is, because then you, like, have braces. But when they're, like, putting it, the braces on, it doesn't really hurt that much, because it's just uncomfortable. It doesn't hurt. It's not, like, painful. It's just sort of uncomfortable. They have to put, like, this mouth stretcher to keep your lips open so they don't touch the glue while it's drying and stuff. Part that hurts is afterwards. For me, it lasted, like, two weeks until I was, like, fully recovered, I guess. And it's just kind of tight. Like, that's the only way I can really describe it because that's basically what they do. They're just, like, tightening your teeth together and pushing them and moving them. So, of course, that's going to be a little pain. I recommend that you have lots of soft foods like mashed potatoes and applesauce and soup. And you get used to it, though. Like, you do start to learn to chew with your tongue. And I would recommend having, like, Advil or ibuprofen or something on hand for sure because it was kind of hard for me to go to, go to sleep. Like, bite down in my sleep and wake up because it would hurt. Just, like, take an Advil before you go to bed and it won't be as bad. Just taking care of your teeth while you have your braces on, that's really important because there's nothing worse than like a person, there's nothing worse than like bad breath to begin with or like kind of dirty teeth. Brush your teeth a lot, like I actually would bring a toothbrush and stuff to school so I could just do it after lunch or whatever. Kind of hard to floss but your orthodontist will probably give you these little things and it's kind of like a needle but it's like made out of floss. You thread it like a needle, you put the floss through the little opening and then you just weave it in between each bracket. Um, or like space between the brackets. Kind of a hassle, it can take a while, but it's really, really worth it because you don't want to have your braces off and then have like a whole bunch of cavities or just in your everyday life have people be like, I don't want to talk to you because your teeth are gross. And honestly, no one's going to judge you for having braces unless they're really gross and they won't like judge you for that. They just will be like, they won't want to be near you. Just brush them and like choose a pretty color then they'll look normal and they're just like nice and shiny and I'll be like, yeah, braces. Those are my tips for just like getting braces, my advice, I guess, for just how to maintain your teeth and stuff. So if you have any other, I have a hair, if you have any other more specific questions about braces, feel free to message me or leave a comment down below or tweet me or email me, whatever you want to do because I am more than happy to answer your guys' questions. So I hope that like summed up the general overview of braces and stuff. It's really not that big of a deal. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to follow me on all my social media websites, which will all be linked down below, and I'll talk to you guys later. Talk to you guys next time. Bye, everyone.